Once you've completed the rectangle that makes up the base of the bag, which is right here, you're going to be at a point where you need to bind off the stitches for the base and then pick up stitches all the way around the perimeter of that rectangle to begin working the body of the bag. So I just have a small sample here that I'll be working with to demonstrate how to do that. Pretend this is much longer. <laughs> so we're going to be binding off all of our stitches across the top of this rectangle. To do that, you want to be on a knit side. You could also do it from a purl side, but usually I bind off on the knit side. So you're going to go ahead and knit one stitch. You're going to knit a second stitch, and then you're going to lift this first one up and over the second one and off of that right needle. So we're going to then knit another stitch, and then again lift this one up, off, and over that top one, like so. And we just do that all the way down this row. Okay, as we near the end here, we're going to keep the final stitch on the needle like this, and then I'm just going to extend this a little bit and pass the ball of yarn through that loop to sort of close off that bind off. So you should have a long rectangle bound off at the top here. And now we're going to be picking up stitches all the way around the perimeter. So you're going to be picking up stitches along the side of the work, which is along all of the rows. Then you're going to be picking up stitches along the cast on edge, along the other side of the work, and then finally along that top bind off edge. So first we're going to be working down the side. Sometimes a pattern will tell you to pick up stitches maybe in three out of every four rows or two out of every three rows or just evenly. Um, if it says evenly, I usually will count the number of rows that I have um, using these little pearl bump ridges as an indicator. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen rows I've worked. You'll have many more for the base of your bag. Um, and then I'll take the number of stitches that the pattern indicates to pick up and I'll sort of divide the two to figure out about how often I need to be picking up stitches. For this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to pick up three out of every four, but you may have a different number of rows and a different number of stitches depending on the pattern um, of how many you need to pick up. So I would just calculate your rate based on the number of rows that you have. So in order to do this you're going to be picking up after the first stitch along this row. So as you can see this is the edge stitch here all along that row and then if you kind of pull that over a little bit you've got this separation along here in between that first stitch and the second stitch which is here. So I'm going to insert the needle underneath that first, it's basically the first place you can insert your needle, but I don't know if you how clearly you can see this, but there's a little hole here. So I'm going to insert the needle here. I'm going to hold this almost like I would crochet. You can hold it in your right hand if you want, as if you were knitting. Um, but you're going to wrap the yarn around, and it's as if this line of stitches is being held by this needle. So you're going to knit into that, basically, and pick up a stitch like that. You can also do it with the yarn in your left hand as if to crochet. So I'm going to, here is one row. Then you have this little bar that indicates you're approaching another row. So I'm going to insert my needle now into this space here. If you're using your left hand, you will simply pick up the stitch like this. This is also the way you would hold yarn if you were a continental style knitter. But I'll continue to show it in the right hand since that's how I was knitting previously. So we are going to, this is two stitches, now I'll move down to the next space, the next stitch, which is the next row of the body of this rectangle. So that will be right here. And I'll pick up a stitch. 
Now, as I said, I'm going to be picking up three out of every four rows. So I'm going to skip this next row here and move down to the following one. Wrap the yarn around and pick up a stitch. So then I'll go into the next one, pick up a stitch, and one more, pick up a stitch. Then I'm going to skip the next one and go to the following. One, oops, gotta get both strands there. Two, three, skip one, and then I'll just pick up these final two here. Then you're gonna want to pick up along the cast on edge and because we are going to be picking up stitches along where we already have stitches you can just pick up one stitch per stitch of the cast on. So I'm going to go ahead and begin doing this on a second needle because if I continue with this needle it's going to get really difficult to go all the way around so this is one of the many uses for double pointed needles when you can't stretch your stitches all the way around a set of circulars it's best to use double pointed needles so I'm going to take this second needle now and I'm going to pick up one stitch for every stitch of this cast on so it begins here And here these are a little bit easier to see because you're just picking up into stitches Then you'll pick up all of the stitches indicated along the side of the work into the rows on the side using a third needle. And finally, you'll use a fourth needle to pick up the stitches along the bind off edge. So what you'll end up with is a long rectangle with a needle of stitches around the perimeter, around one needle per side of the rectangle. Then you're going to continue working stockinette, this time in the round. So you're just going to knit every round when you are working. In stockinette, the front of the fabric is only ever facing you so you're never working along the back so you don't need to purl at all it's just going to be knit all the way around so you'll continue knitting 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 until you reach the lace portion and in the next video I'll demonstrate how to work this very simple four round lace stitch mm -hmm.